Hello, my name is Eva. What are your names? My name is Piritna. My name is Barry. My name is Aya. I am Kaisa. I'm a milker. My name is Rosario. My name is Gabriella. And I'm, I'm Silvana. Hello, my name is Isabella. Where are you from? I'm from England. I'm from Iceland. I'm from Finland. I'm also from Finland in a city called Suonenjoki. I'm from Lisbon, Portugal. I'm from Lisbon, Portugal. We I are, are from Italy. Italy. Hello, my name is Pablo. I am 10 years old. What are your school names? My school is called Wiveliskum Primary School. My school is Granta School. I'm from uh, uh, Isveden Päiväkoti. And I'm from Isveden Koulu. My school is Delphi Santos Vishbua. And the same for me. Our school is Alessandro Manzoni. Hello, my name is Aida. I'm enjoying Vegas. Yes, very much. Having a very enjoyable time. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. It's very beautiful in here. I love the mountains around your city. It's a peaceful city, yes, and um, natural beauty too around the, the city is very captivating for us. I like everything. I like your village. Me too. language can you speak? I'm very sorry I can only speak one English and a very tiny amount of French, very tiny amount of Spanish. I can speak Icelandic and Danish and English and French. Poco Espanol. I can speak only Finnish fluently but a little bit English. And I speak Finnish and English and a little Swedish and a little... Oh, actually, that's it. <laughs> well, Portuguese, of course, and uh, English um, and uh, a little Spanish, too. I speak Portuguese, uh, French, a little English and a little Spanish. I speak Italian and a little English. I speak Italian and a bit uh, uh, English and a bit uh, French. Hello, my name is Marcus. Ten years old. What subject do you teach? Uh, I teach lots of subjects, uh, maths and English and science, geography, history, uh, PE, RE, ICT. So in England, the primary teachers teach lots of subjects. I only teach art, visual art. Uh, I teach all the sub subjects to six-year-olds. I'm a class teacher also, so I teach all the subjects to the, and, and my own class is a children of age, age of 11 and 12. I'm teaching geography. I only teach science. I teach Italian, history, geography and art. I teach math.
Hello, my name is Anna. I am nine nine. I'm Pia. <laughs> What's your favorite subject? Um, my favorite subject is PE. I love sports, so PE is is my favorite. My favorite subject is visual arts. It's very difficult to say, but maybe it's um, uh, Finnish language. Mine is handicrafts. Well, the geography, of course. Uh, <laughs> history. Uh, I'm in love in, uh, with history in the, my uh, as a hobby, as a hobby, uh, and I like very much Portuguese language too. Reading. I like uh, science and uh, arts. I like uh, history and art. I love maths. <laughs> And uh, I like also English. Hello, my name is David. Do you like art? Yes, I do like art. It's a, a fun subject to teach um, and the children enjoy doing art as well. So, yes, it is a good subject. I like art very much, obviously. And I think it's very important that everybody sh should study art. I also like arts a lot. And all those kind of different things you can do with the art. Sports and paintings and all kind of things. Well, all the forms of arts are a valuable um, subject to, to the educational um, matters. Uh, for you, of course. Uh, the children and the, the adults. And uh, I like uh, paint, music, uh, and uh, it's um, every human being um, are educated, or must be educated in art. I like art very much. I like music, picture. Um, we like art very much. In uh, there, 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 there are. Uh, a lot of arts. Hello, my name is Helki. How many stu students are there in your schools? Uh, in our school there are 225 students. Our school is quite similar. I think it's 240, 240 pupils. We have only 45 pupils. And we have 70. Well, in, in uh, our school, we have uh, 1,100 students. And in our group of schools, uh, we have... Uh, 3,100. It's too much, no? Even for a children. <laughs> they understand. It's too much. Uh, in our institute, there are 1,000 of students. But in uh, our primary school, there are 239 students. Hello, my name is Alicia. Do you students wear uniforms? Uh, yes, at, at our school the children wear school uniform. It is a, a green jumper uh, with a white shirt underneath and grey or black trousers or a skirt. In Iceland, it's not very common that you wear uniforms to school, so no, in our school we don't. Also in Finland, we don't wear uniforms. In our schools, uh, we don't uh, have uniforms for the students, uh, only in Portugal, only in the private schools. Yes, in our school, students wear uh, black uniform or blue uniform.
Hello, my name is Isabella. Do you use a computer? Uh, yes, in the, the classroom I use a uh, computer with a screen like you have uh, for teaching uh, and the children use computers in the classroom or in the ICT suite as well. So yes, we use computers a lot. Um, yes, sometimes when I want to demonstrate something I use computers and a projector and sometimes if we want to study some something particularly we go down to the computer room and and then everybody can see and try out some stuff on the computer but it's always arts related what we do in my classes in our kindergarten we have only uh, three uh, computers for children use and in our school we have one computer in every classroom we wish we could have more and then there is one room Waste like 10 computers to use. We use them. Yes, uh, in our schools uh, too, one computer in every uh, classroom uh, and four uh, rooms uh, with um, 12 computers each for the intensive um, teaching of the, 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 um, the subject, the, the informatic uh, subject. Uh, and uh, we also have a projector uh, and uh, interactive boards and screens and it's a useful resource for, for, the, for teaching and the, for the students to learn. And I use very, very uh, often in my class. In our school we have um, a computer in uh, some classes but we have uh, a computer room. Hi, I'm, I'm Miguel. What time do you start and finish school? Uh, we start school at 8.45, quarter to nine in the morning. Uh, then we have lunch between 12 o'clock and one o'clock and then the children go home at 3.15, quarter past three. At my school, the children start at... Um half past eight in the morning and leave at ten, uh, ten over two. Our first children come at six o'clock in the morning but we start preschool at eight o'clock and it lasts until it's uh, twelve o'clock. And we start at eight o'clock and the younger ones uh, go home at twelve o'clock and the older ones go home at two o'clock in the afternoon. Well, uh, because our school has uh, too, too, too many uh, classes, uh, 42, um, we have to, to, to work in two periods, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. The morning period uh, starts at 8.20 and, and goes to uh, one uh, and, and a half, uh, one and a half uh, at the p.m. And, uh, and uh, the, the afternoon pe period starts at one and a half p.m. and uh, goes to six and, and a half uh, p.m. Uh, well, the, the students, uh, uh, the class, uh, 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 the, the, the teaching at the morning and s some, some days in the week have uh, one or two subjects uh, at afternoon and uh, the same. But uh, for the the, um, the classes at the afternoon, one or two or two days a week, with subjects uh, at the, the 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 morning. Yes. I work at the morning. Sons start at half past eight in the morning. In our school star lesson starts at half past eight in the morning and the pupils return home at uh, half past four in the afternoon. Right. 
Вот эту сторону. Good afternoon, my name is Paula. Do you students have lunch at the school? Uh, yes, um, the children either have a cooked school dinner or they bring in their own packed lunch with sandwiches and snacks and fruits. But yes, they all have dinner in school. Nobody goes home at, at lunchtime. Same at my school. Everybody, everybody either brings food to the school and eats at lunch or they get a hot meal served at school. In Finland, everyone gets a lunch at school. Yeah, and parents, they don't have to pay for that, so it's free for the children. Yes, uh, some, uh, some students uh, lunch at the school. Uh, in the population of uh, 1,100 uh, students, perhaps uh, f three uh, and or 400, depends on the day, uh, lunch at the school. All students lunch at school. Thank you. Hi, uh, I am Os I am Oscar. Um, what do you have for dinner? Uh, is that today what we had for dinner, or normally at school? In school, um, sandwiches maybe, um, or. Uh, some days, uh, one day a week, I have the cooked meal with the children, uh, but most days just uh, sandwiches. Lots of fish. We eat a lot of fish in Iceland, so mainly fish. Yeah. We have fish and meat and every kind of meals, and a lot of potatoes. Almost in all the in every lunch. At lunch, we have one day with meat. When they with uh, with fish, and uh, we have um, spaghetti, uh, uh, potatoes, uh, eggs, uh, tortilla, tortilla, no tortilla, uh, and uh, rice, uh, and uh, fruit, and soap uh, uh, all the day, all the days. So at the beginning of the of the of the lunch, and one day a week. Uh, a sweet dessert, one day a week. Um, we have um, pasta, uh, <laughs> Italian pasta, spaghetti, penne. Uh, we have rice, sometimes we have uh, meat or fish, and uh, vegetables and uh, fruit. Hello, my name is Cesar. What's your favorite sport? Uh, my favorite sport is uh, football. Uh, I love football and uh, I was very lucky because on Tuesday night we went to Camp Nou to see Barcelona play, so that was very exciting. My favorite sports are climbing mountains and running. I like hiking and skiing, and I love cross-country skiing. Well, I'm, I like uh, football, uh, bicycle, and it's, it's a... I like walking in the beach. My favorite sport is tennis. I like uh, volleyball and uh, tennis. Thank you. Hello, my name is Marty. Hello, my name is Marty. And um, what's your favorite football team? Thank you. Uh, my favorite football team is Tottenham, uh, who play in London and England. But I do like Barcelona. I watch Barcelona on TV. So, uh, favorite Spanish team is is Barcelona. My favorite. Um, Spanish team is Barcelona and Manchester United in England. Uh, Barcelona is mine and my son's 
favorite? Well, mine is a Portuguese club, um, the Sporting Club of Portugal. My favorite um, team of Portugal is Benfica <laughs> and uh, Barça. My favorite team is Milan and uh, Barça. For me, it's Juventus. <laughs> Thank you. Good afternoon, teachers. My name is Laura. I'm 11 years old. Have you tasted Catalan food or Catalan wine? Thank you. Uh, yes, we had uh, Catalan food for lunch. We had uh, Catalan soup and uh, then paella. And, and also wine, Catalan wine, which was very nice. So, yes, it's nice food. Yes, I had the same lunch, I think. <laughs> and last night we had some very nice selection of tapas from from here and some really nice wine as well. I have liked your food a lot. Yes, thank you for serving. <laughs> Great tapas. I heard we lent um, uh, lamp. Lamp. At a uh, very good lamb at the Casita Blava, uh, and uh, uh, at night we have tapas, tapas, a variety of tapas and uh, shrimps, uh, a la plancha, and today uh, a soup, uh, 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 what do you call the soap, uh, um, the soap with scudella, scudella, scudella. It's a substantial soup uh, with uh, many ingredients. And uh, paella, next paella. And today, dinner, I don't know what we get to for dinner, but it's all, it's all good. Thank you. I like bread with tomato. Tortilla. I like tortilla, paella, and I like all food, all food Catalan. Me too. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, my name is Laia. Is it difficult to be a teacher? Uh, it, is a, it is a hard job. There's a lot of work involved, but it's also a lot of fun. It's just uh, yeah, doing in primary. I think it is great because you teach lots of different subjects and doing different things each day. So, yes, it's hard work, but very enjoyable too. It's a very good question. <laughs> it's it's very hard job, but it's um it's it can be very much fun because no days are the same, so you never know what's going to happen that day. So it's always exciting and always something new happening. So yeah, I enjoy it very much. I think every year is different and every day is different. So some days are difficult and uh, some days are so fun. It's it's very. Very thing. Yes, it's hard work, but the children makes this work special. Well, it's it's hard, like my colleagues say, but it's a, cha a challenging job, and a grateful job, because not only the teachers teaching the pupils, but the students, the pupils teaching the the teachers. We we learn. Uh, very much with you. It's very difficult, but uh, I like very much. Yes, our job is very difficult, but I love it. Me too, I love it. It's uh, um, a fantastic uh, uh, work because uh, we can uh, have every day uh, different uh, things uh, to teach, uh, to uh, to speak about uh, and uh, I love my subject so I uh, found uh, a lot of things to make it uh, interesting for my pupils Thank you Hello, my name is Karen How long have you been a teacher? 
Uh, I've been a teacher for 10 years now, and all of that time is at the, the same school. I've just taught in one school. I've been teaching for nine years. I started as a, as a teacher in seventh grade, and then I moved to visual arts. So I've been teaching visual arts now in, for like six years. I've been teaching over 20 years. I have been about 15 years. And I have been for 26 years. I have been for 29 years. I have been for uh, about 32 years. I'm the oldest. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, my name is Berta. Um, were you a good student? <laughs> um, the, the answer is probably no. I was uh, quite naughty at school and liked to talk a lot and mess around a lot. So, um, yes, it's probably the wrong thing to say, but no, I was probably not good at school. <laughs> I think that's what happens to the naughty kids at school. They become teachers. <laughs> I was I was a good student, but I was a bit naughty. Uh, I think I liked the school and learning, uh, and I was too shy. Uh, still, I am. I think. <laughs> I think I was a quite good uh, student, and I liked the school, and I loved my first teacher. Well, I am. I was a good student in uh, some subjects. I'm selective. Uh, Portuguese, uh, geography, history, science, and uh, some t some subjects. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not so good. I wasn't so good. Well, but uh, Einstein uh, was uh, a good student too in some subjects, and uh, it was a genius. <laughs> I was a medium student. I was um, a good uh, student in uh, Italian, uh, history, geography, but in maths, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, for me, I was uh, very good in uh, scientific uh, subject. Uh, the other, uh, normal, but uh, in scientific, uh, I, I uh, always uh, liked these uh, subjects. Thanks you. Good afternoon, I'm Michelle. Who are the most important artists in your country? Who is your favorite? Um, lots, lots of the artists from, from England are very old. Um, there's an artist I like at the moment who uh, does sculptures, so like outdoor work um, with natural materials like wood and maybe ice and stone, uh, who's called Andy Goldsworthy. Uh, but my favourite artist, um, maybe a Catalan artist, uh, Miro, I like, and also um, for architecture, Gaudi. Um, I think the most important Icelandic artist is a singer Björk. Um, but as like I'm more into visual arts, um, I prefer if if I have to have to name a favorite. Um, there are some conceptual artists that I like very much. I like a lot of artists. I like I also like Miro very much. I like Van Gogh a lot and lots of new artists as well. So lots of different ones. Difficult questions. Um, I think. Some uh, Sibelius m m might be the most important artist in Finland, and um, I think I like Karita Mattila a lot. She's a singer, and there is also Axeli Kalle and Gallela in Finland. That's quite famous, I think, and it's really hard to tell one uh, most popular artist for me. There's quite many of those. I can't decide. <laughs>
Yes, it's hard to tell too about the Portuguese artists because we have uh, now two, um, two architects of uh, international category, uh, Cisa Vieira, it's a renomé architect, and uh, uh, Soto Moura. Uh, in, the, in the painting, uh, we have Cisa Vieira, uh, Cisa Vieira, uh, Vieira da Silva, Vieira da Silva, uh, and uh, Julio Pumar. Well, it's, it's, and, and the modern artist uh, Joana Vasconcelos, and a lot of them. It's, it's difficult to, to, to catalog them. And the uh, music, Amalia Rodrigues, uh, Fado. In Italy, there are uh, many artists, and um, for me it's very difficult, uh, but uh, you know Michelangelo, Raffaello, uh, Giotto, uh, Leonardo. I prefer Michelangelo. Thank you very much for the interview. I hope you enjoy it. And it's been a pleasure having with you. And we hope we can learn more about your artist along this, this project. They are very interested in your countries and in your culture. So I hope we can be in contact. Thank you very much.